Welcome to another episode of Treasure Corals. In today's video, I want to talk about the new addition to my treasure reef system, and that is Neptune Trident. So let's dive right in. I have been using Apex for the past 12 years. Ever since I got my second aquarium, I think my first aquarium was a 10 gallon. And when I moved up to my first cube, which was about 28 gallons, I immediately got my Apex uh, controller. And I still have it. It's over 12 years old and it's still uh, working and it's currently powering my coral quarantine system. All of my aquarium systems are a combination of Apex, Ecotec and Aqua Illumination. I use my Apex systems to primarily monitor my aquariums. I check for things like temperature, pH, uh, later salinity, which is awesome because I can keep an eye on my water change system and also uh, have a few buttons programmed so I can turn off the skimmer or maybe set up a more complicated rule where uh, if the water, water level comes up uh, too high, for example, when I turned off my uh, pump, uh, then the skimmer will turn off. So those things I've been relying on for many years. But when it comes to Trident, I was very curious from the day it was announced, but also a little bit intimidated because I come from the background of manual testing and uh, just imagining there's something that is doing it, um, all the tests for you and the reagents and how does it work. Um, I guess um, for a while I was not ready to um, take a plunge. But in the last two, three years, I've been noticing more and more of my friends um, starting to migrate to it. And I was still delaying it. Um, I, if you go back to a couple of years uh, when we shot a video with Dane, he was very happy with his uh, Apex, but I was still delaying it. And then finally, uh, about two weeks ago, I got my uh, Neptune Trident. Full disclosure, I got my Trident sent to me by BRS but whether I've paid for something or not will not influence what I talk about in this channel. I try to provide my own thoughts that are as objective as possible on what I think about the particular product. Once I received the unit, uh, I went through a very straightforward procedure of hooking it up to Apex. You do need one of the newer Apexes that has the new power bar, but once you plug it in, you follow a few instructions on your phone. It was very straightforward. They actually have videos that walk you through the whole process. It took me about 10, 15 minutes to hook everything up. And then uh, it was calibrating or doing initialization. And very soon uh, I got my first parameters. So everything took probably an hour where about 50 minutes of that was the unit just uh, doing things on its own. And since then I have not stopped checking uh, my phone for what my calcium, what my alkalinity, what my magnesium is at. It's very addictive. And it also just opens up your eyes about uh, the tank uh, because it does measure alkalinity four times per day or you can do even more. You can understand um, how lighting will affect your alkalinity, whether it's going to drop, how calc water will affect your alkalinity. And also you can understand your calcium consumption rate, uh, your magnesium. So it's been awesome. If you're new to the hobby, I must say uh, I wish I had uh, something like Trident at my disposal when I got into it myself. Everything was manual at the time, but now you've got this magic box that got uh, automatic measurement of uh, the trinity of most important parameters, alkalinity, calcium, and magnesium. And it's automated, you set and forget, and it gives you that trend. That is a huge help to anybody who is uh, just starting out with their aquarium because then they don't need to worry about the mistakes that you may make by taking those parameters, but instead you can spend more time focusing on observation of what's going on inside of your aquarium. But today we're going to talk about the new addition to my coral farm. So I've been running Neptune Apex on this system as well, but recently I have received this Trident, Neptune Trident unit, which I was very easily able to incorporate into the system. The whole process took maybe 15-20 minutes and the instructions were 
super straightforward. It's all working within the app. But before we're going to go a little bit deeper into this, I want to show you what I was using to do all the measurements for my coral farm. All of my measurements are done using HANA test kits. I find them to be the easiest to use. Um, I like the digital readouts and uh, just overall I find them very accurate, especially the alkalinity and nitrate. So I have alkalinity, nitrate high range, calcium, phosphate, magnesium, and then once in a while I would check for copper or maybe salivate iodine. But now I'm going to be relying a lot less on the alkalinity, magnesium, and calcium. So I'm probably just going to be doing it as a reference once a month. And you can see over here, I'm now using Neptune Trident. So these are my parameters. This is my alkalinity. It's at 8.2. I've got calcium of 597. It's a little bit too high. I have run out of HANA calcium reagents. So I let it skip for a couple of months and I was uh, not getting any new ones and my calcium has climbed up significantly. So when I hooked up uh, Trident, I was able to see it right away. My magnesium is kind of decent. Maybe I'm going to bring it a little bit lower. I like that this dashboard is always visible. Um, every time I walk by this door on the right, I can see all of the parameters at a glance. I can see if something is out of whack or just give me an idea of what my tank is at any point in time. Now I am going to be setting up some notifications so that when things go too low or too high I will get an automatic notification but even right now this is already super useful. I keep checking these numbers uh, very regularly and right now I'm using it primarily to bring my calcium down. Uh, which I'm sure uh, the corals are going to consume over the next uh, few days. And now let's take a look at the apex itself. So you really have something very simple here. You've got a line in, so this is where it gets the water from the tank. You can see right over there it's touching the water and this sucks it in into uh, this unit over here. And then one line comes out on the back. It is this clear line that just can drain into a bottle or any type of bin and that's it. Then you just need to power it. So there's one line that goes into your um, energy bar and you turn it on and go follow the instructions and it's pretty straightforward. It doesn't take a lot of space. So this is actually something where I didn't have to change anything about my layout. Uh, it's uh, nice and easy to access and there's this orange light that kind of tells me that this thing is working. So let's actually take a look on the inside and see what's going on here. And it's very straightforward. You've got three reagents. So this is the bottles. Um, the first one I think you have to be pointing to the left. The other two have to be pointing to the right. So you've got three reagents, alkalinity, um, and then there is calcium and magnesium. It's very straightforward. You, I guess the app will tell you when you are out of the actual reagent. I've just plugged everything in. Um, and like I said, it was maybe 10 minutes, 15 minutes to get the whole thing up and running. You just slide it back in and I think that's it. So you don't need to worry about anything else. Uh, you can position it at the level where it's not too high and too, or too low so it can draw the water. It's really inconspicuous. It looks good. Uh, it doesn't take any extra room. It's a low profile and um, other than when I initially set it up I really don't even think about it anymore. Um, it just works. And I think I have at least a month or two until the reagents uh, run out. It hasn't been this long. Um, I have been running the mode where I'm doing, uh, I think, four alkalinity tests and two calcium and two magnesiums every day. And I think that's gonna last me about two months. I did have to calibrate the unit. Um, by default, it comes calibrated, uh, but I just wanted to see how the parameters would shift before and after calibration. Calibration is super easy. You just get a little white bottle 
that you stick your inlet in, press one button, and then you go away, and 40, 50 minutes later, it's fully calibrated. And you just put that black line back into the tank. Now, my alkalinity hasn't changed at all. Calcium and magnesium shifted slightly, but I'm also testing this against the HANA. And I do find that my alkalinity reads a little bit um, lower on the Trident than it is on HANA. I think calcium is very much spot on with my HANA uh, calcium. And magnesium, I think it was within 50 or 60 units uh, between the two. Um, but it is extremely consistent, meaning that um, there's almost no drift between the previous test and, uh, let's say, the next one after that. So um, what I'm getting is an awesome baseline, and that tells me that I can keep an eye on the tank, on uh, all the corals, and not worry too much about um, doing daily tests. So this has been definitely a game changer for me. Um, I think the corals are certainly enjoying the improved stability. And that's pretty much it. Now, I've had this unit only for a couple of weeks. Um, I haven't had a chance to um, do any replacement of the reagents. I've only done the calibration, but this already has impressed me so much. Um, I like that it's simple, one line in, one line out, and the line to the power bar. I've just plugged it in one evening it took me 15 minutes and that is it now i have an idea of where my parameters are and i wish at some point there would be a phosphate and um, nitrate because those are the only other two parameters that i measure regularly and i think they are super important for the day-to-day -day running and obviously there isn't the icp test but um, this has been uh, a game changer for me so highly recommend it and overall um, i can't wait to see how the corals will react to that extra level of stability and insurance i have been using trident now for two weeks and i have only one regret of not getting um, it sooner if i were to have gotten my trident uh, at least a couple of years ago when i was setting up my farm i would have probably had a lot more stable system and um, the corals that I have lost due to instability and fluctuation probably could have paid for three uh, tridents. Um, I also really like the fact that I don't need to do manual testing. It frees up my personal time. Um, I have been doing alkalinity at least two or three times a week. If you go to aquaticlog.com, I'll have links below, you can actually see all of my parameters uh, and frequency of my measurements since I've started uh, reefing. So you can go back into this aquarium and you can see how often I check my alkalinity, my magnesium, my calcium, and uh, alkalinity I've been measuring at least two, three times a week, sometimes more if I get instability. But even then, uh, I think that fluctuation was pretty high. You can see me sometimes hitting 10, sometimes I'm getting all the way to seven, usually because I've forgotten to replenish the additive or maybe didn't do the calc washer. And I do find that Apex will safeguard for uh, those cases. Uh, if I see that there's a trend going down, well, I guess um, it will be time to replenish my uh, additive. I'm also uh, going to set up the notifications so that even if I'm not looking at my phone, um, I will get, and it's very easy to do, an email or a notification telling me that, let's say, my alkalinity dropped below uh, 8. Um, I haven't done it yet just because I'm still experiencing the unit. I'm still learning uh, what it's all about. I want to maybe do another reagent uh, change and only then I'm going to be geeking out on a little bit more automation. As for uh, calcium and magnesium, uh, magnesium I usually have been testing maybe once every three weeks. So knowing what magnesium is at is a great uh, addition. Uh, and same for calcium. I don't usually measure calcium very often, maybe once a week. Uh, well, again, uh, measuring it twice per day, it's, uh, it's a big plus in my book. And I do like the fact that there is now a baseline and a trend. Um, so having that daily trend of knowing where my parameters are at 
and whether they are coming down or up uh, is super valuable to me. Every time you change things, whether it's your lighting, so if you increase your light, uh, your corals may react by consuming more alkalinity, your alkalinity start coming down, and keeping an eye on it uh, is within an automated way, I think is super uh, useful. And once again, it's uh, actually something of an insurance uh, into your aquarium. I also like the fact that it's a fairly small footprint and you have only one line going into the tank. And as long as you have a container where you can dump uh, some water, then um, that's all that you need. And that small footprint means that uh, I will be able to fit one uh, for my other aquarium, the Treasure Lagoon. So that means I'm going to be ordering uh, another unit, uh, hopefully very soon. I want to experience uh, it on another aquarium, but more importantly, I just don't want to think about alkalinity, calcium and magnesium uh, on a daily basis. Um, because I find that if you have your temperature, your salinity, uh, your alkalinity, and uh, let's say calcium under control, that um, is a good 60% of things that can go wrong with your chemistry uh, in your aquarium. I wish at one point we would be able to also check for nitrate and phosphate. Uh, one can only hope um, because once we got that uh, on an automation, I think we're in reefing heaven. I'm curious what your experience with Trident uh, was like. Uh, did you find it uh, to be accurate? Did you find it to be reliable? Are there any issues down the road? Like I said, I've only used it for the past two weeks. I haven't um, experienced it for a year. I cannot provide you feedback on that yet, but uh, I'm very excited um, about it. Uh, I'm excited about um, using it on one other aquarium. And I think um, those benefits of stability um, are pretty great. See you next time.